book is a memoir and it is so fantastic that I, I can't forget it even though it's been months since I read it. I can't let it go. So this is Every Falling Star and it is the true story of a man named Sung Jung Lee uh, who lived in North Korea and not too long ago, I mean he's He's con it's a contemporary story. It's like the 90s, right? It's like the 90s. And um, he lived in Pyongyang, which is the capital, and his dad was a military um, official, and his family is definitely in favor, and they had a lot of, they had a pretty nice life. He, you know, Sungju went to like a great school. He was training to be a military leader. Um, he went to like Taekwondo practice, and, and like life was pretty sweet. And then his dad does something to put him out of favor with the government, and they're transferred to an area out in the country where people are literally starving literally to death. Literally starving to death. There's no medicine, it's bad. Um, and when he gets there, it's such a huge culture shock of, of all these weird things that are going on that he thought, how could possibly our government let this happen to people? And it's happening. And so um, his this, the family starts to run out of all the food and supplies that they brought with them. And his dad decides that he's gonna go over to China. Uh, he's gonna sneak over there and he's gonna start kind of an illegal import export business to support the family. And he leaves and he doesn't come back. Um, and his, uh, Sung Ju and his mom are about to starve. Um, and she decides she's gonna go to her, like her aunt's house and see if she can get some food. Uh, and then she doesn't come back either. So Sung Ju is like 10 years old and there's nobody to take care of him. And in order to survive, he finds a couple of other boys who are in his grade at school who are in the exact same situation, and they form a gang. And some of them perform um, for food and money. Other ones start um, basically stealing from people in the market. And literally, this is a story of how these young boys have to band together to basically literally steal or work or whatever to get food and whatever they need to survive and then fight against other gangs of boys who are doing this and stay away from the people who want to capture them and put them in a prison where they'll basically starve to death anyway. And um, it's this story about the horrible conditions and, and the things and how his life changes. Well, and it's just a story we never hear about right. someone's life in North Korea and what happens to him. And um, you have to read the afterword to find out where the author is now today. Mm -hmm.